All right, let's check out Stray. I'm playing the PS5 version, as you literally just saw. Um, this is free on PS Plus Extra and Premium. Um, so that's why I got it on PlayStation instead of PC. I've already played with the options. One thing I did notice actually about PS Plus Premium that I thought was pretty good, I don't know if Xbox has this as well, but um, I have no internet connection for the console in my office, and so I was worried we were to play it, because like, I was like, I'm, I'm using this through an online subscription service, right? But once you've logged into the game once, you only have to do it once a week. You only have to go on the internet once a week to keep the game active. So you can play it offline as well. Which I thought was pretty cool. Alright, no idea what I'm doing. Which is a strong start to every game that I play. I can't walk any further than this edge, by the way. Like, this is the end of the edge. I guess we're gonna go and lay down. A nice relaxing sleep. Oh my god, so numb. Oh yeah, for those asking, this is a console exclusive to PlayStation, but it is on PC as well. Inside the wall. I'd like to thank our Patreon supporter, Paul Calhoun, for bringing this video. Thank you so much, Paul. Paul has a fantasy novel. You can check it out via the link in the description. Chris and I are doing voices, or have done voices, for the audiobook version, which is coming out shortly. So uh, check it out. Link below, and show Paul some support for being a super numpkin. Enjoy Stray, guys. Shout out to our producer, Alice, of course. Super mega numpkin Alice is. Her link's on screen right now. Check her out. Oh my god, the kiddies. <laughs> The game is estimated to be about uh, five to six hours long if you just do the main story. 
Press circle to meow. Dedicated meow button is how they've been marketing this. But if you do side stuff, it's longer. We'll do some side stuff, but probably not all. I think that's reasonable. It's very pretty. I mean, I would ex wouldn't expect much else from a PlayStation 5 game, but still. It's a very pretty game. No, oh, they're all friends. It is a very similar theme to Tokyo Jungle, actually. Like, this looks so much like a 3D version of Tokyo Jungle. I would love a 3D Tokyo Jungle. I really like that game. It's a shame the studio that made it is now defunct, but still. We streamed the fuck out of Tokyo Jungle for a while. Like, we played it a lot. Like, multiplayer. Hold X to chain jumps. Okay. Hup, 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 hup. Hup. I'm gonna be meowing a lot, guys. Oh my god, the water is really, like, really, really nice. It's really pretty. Oh, is something, is something in there, kitty cat? Is something in here? Just go in and just get killed in, like, three seconds. Press L2 to observe. Okay, looks like we have some parkour of some description here that we need to be doing. No! No, it's gonna fall! No! Don't do it, kitty cat! No! Don't do it! No! That was really sad. This better not be sad. I don't want this to be sad. Well, I'm alive, so it's a good start. Oh, I'm hurt. I'm limping. Oh, I'm really hurt. Oh no!
Okay, we seem to have rested up a bit now, so we're feeling less bum. Can't run at the moment, though. Oh, now we're picking up speed. Alright, so the little thing, the little robot things went under there. Anything else around here? Miss Jump. The Dead City. Well, we were in such a beautiful location and now we're in a complete shithole. Fantastic. Go us. Go team. I say team. It's just me. Hey. Hello. God, look at the numkins. Look at them. How? Okay. Are they? No, there's no. There literally is nowhere they could have gone. Stupid little robots think they're so good. Going through invisible walls. You can stand on random stuff. Help. Lovely. I'm not an expert, but I'm guessing standing in this radioactive goo is not good for our health. Good to see that we're back up to peak jumping standard, though, after our little accident. Where am I going now? I don't see anywhere we can parkour to over here. Okay, did not mean to do that, but we'll take it. Can we go this way? Yes, this is the right way. I'm not sure I trust this cunningly obvious trap very much, but we'll go for it for now. Uh, uh. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> Going through here at the moment would be a very bad idea, so we need to find a way of turning this off, I'm assuming. Question is... How? And where? Oh. I guess we put this inside it, maybe? There we go. <laughs> Just cat things, huh, guys? Hmm, where can we go around here? Gonna go. There we go. Another one. One more. Hey, there's the way forward.
still don't know I want to follow you, TV, if I'm honest with you. I ignore the Wi-Fi connection lost. So we can scratch up carpets and things. head through here and see what else we can find. Oh, can we have a drink? We can. Oh, no. <laughs> that was cool. I like that. I'm not gonna lie, one of the reasons I don't like cats too much is things like the rug thingy and the knocking off tables thing. I don't find it enduring. It's okay in a video game, but in real life, it would bug the fuck out of me. Hello? Hello? What is this? Oh shit. Hi! We killed it. Okay, I'm a little bit concerned about this. Oh shit, we're being chased by a lot of them. Well, this changed tone quickly. Hoof it! Hoof! Don't know where I'm going right now, I'm just panic running. There's a lot of them. I wonder if there's a trophy to meow 100 times. It probably is. Please don't fall again after all you've been through. I haven't seen any collectibles yet. I probably missed a bunch already, but that's fine. Huh. Okay. I 
guess we'll go through here. I still don't trust the sign saying, go this way, kitty. Do this, kitty. Uh, I think I see what I have to do. And then we jump up here, and then up here. And then onto the girder. And then off the girder. There we go. That was pretty good. So far, a lot of, like, environmental puzzles. I mean, I'm not really sure what else you could do with a cat, to be honest with you, now I think about it, but still. Cat does sliding puzzle. Please don't. Please. Please, no slides. No slides allowed, please. Oh, shit. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Can't go this way anymore. But we can go back up. Are you sure you want to do this after all the falls you've had so far, game? Kitty cat, sorry, not game. Huh. I think we're good. Although we may have to go up on the AC unit here, then higher? Yeah. Go and there, cross. Oh my god, so numb. I didn't do it. I didn't break everything. I promise. There's no proof it was me. I will say, these environments are visually really impressive, even now we've moved on to like a darker environment. They look really great. Alright, now, where the fuck are we going? I guess this way? Oh, come on, don't fall! I did nothing. Did nothing, not know how, not nothing. Alright, so we got a fan. Oh, here. Nope, that's not a vent. Oh, no, there's something here, though. Ah, we had to unplug it. The flat. Okay. I wonder if anyone lives here. I'm gonna go on the limb and say probably not, but let's have a look around the flat anyway. I need help. <laughs> Data corrupted. Need help for all body required for download. Body required. Okay, so we need to download a robot into a, per a person into a robot. Enter the door. Turn on. Find body. Gotta turn on. Well, we disconnected this, but we could probably plug them into here, I'm guessing, is what we need to do. We need to find four of them, probably. Oh, the door closed behind me, so everything must be in this room.
Unless I can leave. Oh, oh, no, here. Ha! There we go. Alright, we need one more. And we definitely can't leave, so it's got to be in here. The question is, there it is. There it is. Ha! Ha! Alright, so here's the body we need to put him into. Looks like we need this, whatever it is. What do we have here? Can we plug it into him? I'm not even sure what this is. It's just some kind of like technology thing. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it goes inside him at all at the moment. Maybe somewhere else in here? friend Did we upload him to this? It worked, I'm free, thank you. I couldn't believe the cameras, a cat in the dead city. I can't remember my name, it seems my memory is corrupted. I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long. I know I work for a scientist who lived here. For now you can call me B12, that's what it says on my exterior. It's dangerous in dead city, but you seem like you know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here, follow me. We have a robot friend. The key unlocks a door, I remember that much. Let me get that for you. Very good. Battery low already. Come over here. You're gonna have to put this on. <laughs> okay, so we have a little drone living on our back now. Is it just really heavy? Why are we walking like this? The bad part is designed for small quarter like you. Is it uncomfortable for you? Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I digitized the key and stored it in the backpack. Okay, so we have a key now in our inventory. Easy. If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me. Or to others if we come across any. Now let's get out this flat. We have a torch now as well. Oh my god, wow, that's bright. Jesus Christ. Of course there is a piano here. Code 3478 might be important.
Am I being an idiot? That I'm sure that was the code. Three seven four eight. I'm an idiot. We need to get out of this apartment. Let's try the main door. I should be able to get it open. Well, look at this place. And the elevator in the distance, that's important, I think. I know we need to go up. Uh, what the fuck is this shit? This is some Silent Hill shit, what the fuck? I didn't expect to see like fucking tendrils of death. Wait, I remember. The outside. Feels like I've been there before, is this where you came from? I promised someone I would go there. I promised who? This postcard, the mural was painted from it. Let's take it. Where do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. Okay, so we have memories to recover now that we can find. No idea if that affects the ending or anything. I don't think it does. From the reviews that I read of this. But, um... I guess we'll see. Also, well, this is actually already surprisingly more fleshed out than I thought it would be. Like, I didn't expect we'd have like a little robot buddy and shit like that. That talks. Like, I didn't expect there to be any dialogue in this game whatsoever. So that's, uh, that's good. Oh, there's those things again. Oh, they tried to get me. God, they're little shits. Oh, fuck. Go, 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 get away from them. The slums. Hi. Why is it scared? This music is bad. I can't run right now. Hi everyone! I'm just a kitty cat. Don't be scared. Are you scared over here, person? Or are you just a mannequin? We're friends. I'm your friend, okay? We'll be friends. Oh wow, they're talking in whatever that is. They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. Yeah, what kind of it is as long as you don't eat anyone? I guess everything's chill now. I, 
guess it's because they've never seen a cat before, like, genuinely, and they're like, what the fuck is this shit? What is this crazy shit? You look lost, what do you need? Oh, a picture of the outside, ridiculous. The elevator isn't operational, everyone knows it's impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except Momo. You can try and talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave, it's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Has this gone like semi-open world now? Press to ask B12 for help. Okay, well, I guess we can try that. Don't hesitate to call me anytime I'm here to help. The Guardian told us to talk to Momo in the big building with orange neon sign. He's the only thing we've got for getting out of here. I guess we should talk to people. You gave us a fright. We thought you were a Zerk. You really thought you'd take the elevator. Never seen that thing work and I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Why go up there? There's nothing there. Um. Okay. We'll talk to some of the people here. Hello, I'm a merchant at the market. You give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. As simple as that. This is a set of electric cable, the best on the market. I'll exchange this for a super spirit detergent. That's the best I can do. Okay, so we need to find a super spirit detergent. This is the music sheet, a masterful piece of art from a very renowned artist. It will cost you one energy drink can. I can't do any less. The marketplace. This is an ancient relic, a testament to the talents of our ancestors. It will cost you 300 drinking crowns. I can't do any less. Okay, so we need to bring stuff here. But we can put stuff in our backpack now, right? So it's going to be easier to carry shit, I think. We're fortunate to have these items to help us defend against the Zerks. The slums have its threats, and preparation is the key. I guess the Zerks are the little, like, irritating killer things. Look at these hidden gems in this trash. Pennies from heaven or from somewhere? Anyway. I guess if I can, if I find an energy drink can, it'll tell me if I can pick it up or not. So uh, for now, I'm not going to worry about too much about that. But it might be worth looking around for shit. I don't like these anti-cat spikes on stuff. I'm a kittier. It's not what we do. I take the plants, the humans improve them so much. Now they require very little light. Instead of a bit of water and how how the they get. It really is amazing technology. Okay. Praising the humans. I mean we are amazing, obviously, that's true. Hey, we got an energy drink can. That increases our speed as well, it looks like. I'm gonna play a song. I'm gonna drop some sick beats. No, you're just gonna stare at me. Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. <laughs> so we need to get him the sheet music, this guy. And how much do we need for that? Just one energy drink, right? There's a safe here. Safe's mysterious password. I don't know why the rope seems to some kind of currency. Oh, we can't drink it. That's good, actually. I don't want them to drink energy. Okay, show us this. 
It's written, follow the numbers, but it looks like a binary language, a succession of zeros and ones. You must be able to decipher this code in one way or another. It's probably related to the safe. I have no idea how to do binary. Let's go and buy the music and give it to the uh, guitarist. Hello again, what do you want now? This is the music sheet. Okay, so we, now we can buy it with the can. Here you go. Hey, we got the music. We can take this to the guitarist. Hope you guys like mind me exploring a bit. I'm not going to do every side quest, but I think a bit of exploration is fun, especially early on. Alright, let's show an item. Let's show the sheet music. Four of eight, so there's a lot of... The way you compute tonight. Oh, that's a nice one. Hear me out. I like the way the cables make the guy's hair, by the way. Hello? Well, we're inside here now. This all belongs to us. You gonna talk to me, or are you just gonna sit down first? Exit. You're here for Elliot? He's just over there. Oh, more sheet music? I kind of want to listen to more of the songs. I guess Elliot's up here. Maybe this guy knows binary. Yes, can I help you? You want me to read this binary code? Just a second, I need to collaborate. Here it means Duffer Bar. Who gives a rendezvous via binary code? Okay, so the co the safe code is in the bar. Okay, so that's good. The tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. The robots don't need, but they take care of them anyway. It's what the humans would have wanted. Oh, it looks like I can play cassettes here as well. There's like a hub where I can fuck where I can bring stuff. All right, so we now need to go to the bar. We're going to uh, find more shit that we need. Hey, sneaky. Okay, we've unlocked another way in now, at least, as well. Bar's right here, so... Do you think we show the bartender the binary code? Or maybe the guy? So not a binary code you have, only a real geek can read this. I already had it read, but I want I need the code. Jacob, help me. Okay, he's gonna say the same shit. Huh. Maybe the guy upstairs? Oh, there's something here. Do they really consume this? Their original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans? Don't think I should try some of it. They're not to be disrespectful of their ways. Oh, Jesus. I'm not sure you should eat anything you don't know what it is. Wasn't there another robot up here? Yeah, there is. Are 
Yeah, so they, they told me to go to the bar, but there's no one here. So there's got to be something else I'm missing here, right? To solve the safe's password. A binary on the poster by the door? Employee of the month, September 27. Hmm. I guess we just look around at everything. Ah! Is this important? 1, 2, 83. Think that could be it? For the safe code? Let's go and check it out, shall we? Yeah! We got more sheet music. I'm pretty happy with solving those. That was fun. I have a lot more songs for you. Yeah, I can show you all them. We've got, we have loads of music for you already. Tomorrow's. Sounds cool. Watch that. I can only give him them between songs. I'm not going to wait for him to play this one because I don't like this one very much. So we'll come back and give him more later on. Let me in. Let me in, kin. Are oh, you one of the troublemakers playing with paint buckets on the roof? Keep your paint away. I'm tired of cleaning my suit because of the mess. Well, sounds like a challenge to me. Don't know about you guys, but let's go and find some paint buckets on the roof. Okay, hang on. Can I meow as they, as they, uh, distract them? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I can start shit. And that means I can get in that and replace now, I think. <laughs> Alright, what's in here? Oh, this is where we'll get the detergent we need to buy the item. Surely, like in a laundrette. Question is where? It's not that. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Spirit detergent. We got it! This game is published by Sony on consoles, so there's no way this is coming to any other console. <laughs> Alright. Hello, what do you want now? It's a set of electric cable, the best on the market. I'll exchange this for super spirit detergent. It's the best I can do. Well, we have it. So, show item. 
Here you go. Gain new item, electric cable. No idea what that's for. Probably important. We still need three cans for the random shit. Hey, you can have another song, sir. Uh, there you go. Untitled. The tune contains exactly 44 notes. Alright. We've done quite a lot of exploration here. God, this isn't even a song, it's just a noise! What the fuck? Hello, sir. Uh, at least Cosmo is making use of all that detergent. Oh god, because we knocked the thing down. It's okay, I'm very sorry. I'm cleaning the porch in my shop again! Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. Is throwing paint cans like a, a, a sport here? Grandma clothing Elliot Pro- We haven't been in most of these program buildings, but fuck it. Can we talk to you, sir? Oh, sorry! Whoops! I didn't do anything! It wasn't me! It wasn't me! I'm just gonna translate this. Rip, humans. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. I'm very sorry, sir. I didn't mean to knock you over. You're just adorable. Oh, we can get cans out of this. Can we get more than one? No, just one. Can you stop walking into me, sir? Jesus Christ. You're, you become an innocent catkin for like two minutes and suddenly everyone's fallen over you. Can I help you? Hello, little one. Do you have an electric cable for me? I'd love to make a poncho for you, but I need a cable. Yes! We need poncho. I'll get to work right away. Are they making us something? Poncho. There you go, little one. It'll suit you well. How do we put it on? Can we put it on? This looks really warm. Perfect for a cold robot. Oh, the ro is the robot wearing it? No. Interesting. I guess we just carry it around for now anyway. I guess we have to give it to somebody else. Well, Granny's happy at least. Anyway, we're going to climb now. Going up here seems a good place to start. So let's do that. Alright, so we need to get up there. Which seems very doable. Considering what a bouncy numkin we are. Oh my god. Up. Up. Oh, there's more people up here. Hi. The circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Oh, there's quite a lot of people up here, actually. I say people. There's a building over there that we can get into. I want to check that out. Music's nice. I wonder what this place is, though. Well, we'll find out, I guess. Clementine's Notebook, 4 of 4. It's a strange notebook with a symbol on it. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything's going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper before, upper level before the transceiver went down. There is a place called Midtown. Apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes, I know this look. He will not come with us. I don't know what this means, but it'll probably be useful later. We should see that Momo person the good guardian told us about. Okay, so this is related to Momo. Oh my god, Momo? Like, the horror legend Momo? Scariest monster ever Momo? I think so. I'm terrified, guys. I'm sweating. I mean, I'm sweating because it's really fucking hot, but other than that. Alright. Oh, 
Let's jump. Can we go in here? The answer is maybe. Was that a sound at the door? It's probably nothing. No. No, let me in. Fine. Fine. How do I get up? I need to get up further. I need to... We need to fuck with this person. But I don't think I can. God damn it. It won't let me go up higher. Oh, more sheet music, though. I think we've got nearly all the sheet music now. No, oh, I guess we're not going in here for now. Do, do, do. Ba, 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 ba. All right. What is this? This is definitely fun for exploring. Like a lot of exploration stuff. Will we turn the TV on? We can indeed. God, I love this show. Holy shit. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we've got another secret entrance here. Oh, I really love the music and I really love the exploration. It's very cute. There's got to be something worthwhile in here. Can I just scratch the fuck out of this? Oh yeah, I can. It's fine. Oh, I keep forgetting I can meow. Yeah, I could have meowed outside that guy's house. Hey dog, I found your keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Gained new item. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Jess the librarian. Okay, there's a safe in here. And we have the keys to it now. We are a genius. Alright, so somewhere in here, safe. How you develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42. Oh, wow. Oh, I can just sleep here? Oh my god, she's so cozy. There's, this room's got real height to it, so there's got to be a way of climbing up. You see these beams and shit? Question is, how do we get up there? Like, because there's a lot here. There it is. Sneaky. We got it, guys. What do we have inside? It's a strange light book with a symbol on it. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I can mine a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks. The initial attempt was explosive. I must have to test it under real conditions. Don't know what it means, but it's probably useful later on. We should see the Momo person who Guardian told us about. That's fine. So I think we're doing stuff out of sequence a bit here, which is fine. Okay. So we got another key notebook, but nothing else. There we go. Alright, so we're finding more shit. Awesome. Looks like we probably had to find all this stuff anyway. I'm gonna have a little look around still. This person here might want something. Hello? Oh, it's you. You look weird and small, but there's something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I don't understand why. Would you like a poncho? Grandma is very talented. Thank you for uh, thank you for recognizing Grandma's amazingness. I am gonna meow outside this guy's house over here and see if he lets me in. If I meow constantly, he might be like, "Okay, now I let you in. Now I'll let you in, kitty cat." My heart's broken, guys. He won't let me in. He won't let me in! I 
I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so we need to get up into there. There's the winch to get down from there, but how do I get in there? Maybe on these, I guess? Hup. 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 Alright, padlock door, but not a padlock window. Hi, Momo. How's it going? Oh, he's sad. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you, what do you want? Uh, the photo? This is the picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll only bring you loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that fucking transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research out about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let's check the notebook he gave us. The outside is manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It's something Clementine Zubbottle. Doc and Momo. It's like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Well, we have found two of them. We can show... We can found two already. We found Clementine's notebook. Oh, you found Clementine's notebook. She was a really brave, you know. The most fearless person I've met. Okay. And... What else? The one. And we have Docs, right? So we just need Zubbubbubbers. Oh, it belongs to Doc. He was a really huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Okay, so we just need the one guy. The one guy with the weird name that I can't pronounce. The city has a linear shape about 450... Oh, we're in a big... Like a big dome. Okay. Interesting. God, I like the music in this. This is important. Again, a reason I would never get a cat. Important. Key. Key thing. It reverses the controls when you do this, by the way. Zabaltaza? Okay, I can probably manage that. Zabaltaza. Do you have energy drink cans? No, you fucking don't. God, that's... Then you're useless! There's a picture of a cow here as well. Just a random picture of a cow. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? I don't know. But you found 22% of your memories, at least. I mean, I don't really care why cats do X thing. Um, like, I just don't want them to do it. <laughs> Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun, the fifth largest in the solar system. Today, it's the only celestial object known to foster life. According to radiometric data, the Earth is 4.54 billion years old. It's a single natural satellite, the moon, which forms soon after. The gravitational interaction with the moon creates a tide, stabilizes the Earth's axis of rotation, and gradually reduces its rotation speed. Cat a Pult. I got the trophy. I don't know why. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. We've already been there. Okay, we already visited. Okay, I'm glad he knows that we already went there. Okay, so look for more symbols like the one on the notebook. I mean, there's one there. That's, we haven't been to that one, that's for sure. Like, that's the only one we haven't been to. The one, that must be Zabaltazar's place. Alright, let's get down. Alright, so how do we get up there is the question. Will it let us go around this way? Up. 
this looks like the way. This looks like the right way. We're above the safe there as well. Okay. Hup. 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 Ventilation power supply. Why would I do that? <laughs> oh, so I can get down into it. This must be how, yeah, this is how we gain entrance to this place. Alright, so this is the place with the last notebook. Excellent. Let's have a drink. It's been a hot day so far. Just above where we were. <laughs> okay. I don't know if this is the notebook place. I think it is, but it's very hard to tell. Can I push this out of the way? Leave me alone, box! Is that where I just was? Yeah, it's gotta be in here. But the question is where? This is definitely his place and there's definitely a symbol there. To indicate that it is his. Oh, 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 oh. what happened there? There we go, we got it. It was on the floor under all the boxes. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone called Zabalthazar. All traces of violent life have disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate. As if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Oh, there's also a note in the book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. We wish we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. You can communicate with the upper levels. That could be a way up. Let's show him what we found. Hey, we found it, guys. Alright, my my. Here we are. Here's the thing. Hey, little cat, you still looking for those useless notebooks? That's the Balthasar's notebook, right? You never understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's this note? The transceiver can be repaired? That's incredible. That means we might be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine, the Balthasar doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I promise you I'll find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, we might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. And voila, it works. Come with me. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends still might be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. Okay. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. All right. This is a whole new area. Shit. Alright, let's go. Hup! Hup! Rooftops. There is a lot of Zerks. Like, a lot of them. Climb! Climb, you stupid cat! 
I'm dead. Yeah. First death. It wouldn't jump at all. Even though the jump prompt was there, it just wouldn't do it. There we go. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. The person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and not long ago after, everyone started putting lots of light in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colours again, like on the outside. I think it helped. careful because the Zerks just fuck you up in this so easily. Zerks are on a form of organic life, they're not robots that are uh, uh, taken over the world basically and are like the predominant form of organic life. Was useful. Oh fuck, I don't know where to go. Oh, I've got to seal them in. I'm dead, but maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, I've got to seal them in here. Now I can seal them in. There we go. Or open them up this side, and now I can get across and do this. Of course, there's fucking one here. One fucking Zerk had to fucking survive on this side. I think I got the trophy for meowing a lot. Alright, off we go. We got this. to get up here. Ah, I see. Get off the ledge. Up. This place looks shit. Let's go. Up. Up. There is a ton of Zerks here. Like an absolute shitload of them. Nah, just not getting away with that. I'm not really sure where I'm going to be going. Thank <laughs> you. 
Get off, jump. Did it. Whew. That was spicy. Oh no, we're gonna have to open that door. Let's get this item over here first. Before we do. They were responsible for waste management. A trash from the upper levels overlaid the slum as they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve all of it. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating way more than trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. This is gonna suck. I, need, I know what I need to do. Get fucking hell, robot! Get on the door faster! I don't know how I'm gonna do this one. Oh, maybe I do. Maybe I do. There we go. Up here. And then up there. Oh, yeah. Hey, thank you, Samuel Alabama, for the gifts. I really do appreciate that. Do. Oh, lowers the elevator. Guessing we're gonna need to survive until it reaches the bottom. Oh, more spawned! More spawned! Didn't know more were gonna spawn. That really fucked me. Oh, fuck. That was bullshit. Cheeky fuckers. Really do appreciate that sub, though, guys. Uh, Asama. Uh, these uh, long streams take a lot of time and energy. And I really do appreciate anything we can do to get those goals moving. It's been very quiet so far today. Lost Dead, thank you for the 44 months as well. I appreciate you. For the resub, very nominee. Thank you. Run. Okay. More come down about here. Run, 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 run. Okay, I've got him on me. Got him on me. Got him on me. Go, 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 go. This way, 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 this way. Jump! Jump! Hack! Go, 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 go. Get fucked. Get fucked!
Here it is, put the transceiver on this antenna. Look, the view is beautiful from here. I remember now the city is meant to be a shelter. It looked like stars, but there are only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shelter to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from here, it might mean it's safe again. And my promise was just to go to the outside. It was to open the city. I still understand where some memories are coming back and others aren't, but I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Slums, part two. Look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of the antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open is quite simple. It is that. Be careful, it's case sensitive. See you at the bar. There must be a code for the window in the entrance. Let's go. <laughs> what the fuck? Outsiders. The word was... it was an H, I think, but... Wait, okay, let's try this again. Then it was an O, or was it a zero? Let's see. Success! He remembered! Momo is at the bar waiting for us. I'm guessing some of the vending machines might be restocked now, by the way, which is we can get some more energy drink cans, or at least, like, they're, like, at working again, you know what I mean? Some of the robots who let us, wouldn't let us in before will let us in as well now, in a new section. Hi, Mama. Hey, little furball. Come here, I managed to get a signal. Let me see if we can get this thing working. I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Zalbata? Zalbazalzala? Zaza? Momo? Psh. I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, voice about Zaza. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Oh, that sounds great. Sewers? How? Hello? Damn it, we lost the signal. I can't believe it. Zabalthazar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers? The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zabalthazar made it, there must be a way. I'll never get past the sewers, it's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past, it doesn't end well. 
Anyway, I warned you, your business is none of my business. Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus. He's scared. Like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Still cleaning up the fucking paint? I don't think he's gonna let us in, you know that. Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that's to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the Outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you. I think I have an idea. We're gonna do some breaking and entering, I'm guessing. Yep. Take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try and re-establish communication with the others. What are you doing in here? I told you getting through the sewers is suicide. Leave me be. What's this? Is this my papa's? Oh, wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in a flat, but where? Well, that made you calm down at least, so let's look around. Let's see what we can find. If I can knock everything off, I'm gonna have to to find it. Aha! Okay, so we have a code pad that we don't have the code for yet. What the fuck is this? Time will tell. There's a lot of clocks on the wall here. Oh, uh, so two, five, one... One is the code. Anything else in here before I go through? I can read clocks, guys. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Robot news headlines. Zerks are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. I've never seen this room, but I can't believe you managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and never came back. Okay. What was in that box, if anything? Absolutely fuck all. Cute sounds but never friendly, old bacteria of human time, eat all kinds of materials, total vision in the dark, react to intense light. Broken tracker. So I show that to him. Okay. 
Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. That boy was his tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find out where he went. I can't believe my papa might still be alive, but I missed him so much. We need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help you. Come with me, I'll open the door for you. Okay. Progress. All right. It's gonna be this guy, maybe. Hello, can you help me, Elliot? I don't know. I don't know if you're the sort of person that can help us. That's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tahima BR 200. You can track anyone with this gadget, may I? I know how to repair it, but I'm trembling late, so I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. Well, it's just as well we have a poncho. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. There we go. Looks no tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks. Now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just give me an update on one more thing. Voila! We got a fixed tracker. There you go, little one. Good luck finding what you're looking for. This guy's really fucking helpful. He's helped us so much already. This guy is the best. Let's knock some stuff off your shelf to celebrate. Alright. Let's go and take this round to uh, Seamus, I guess. So we can help find his dad. Do you manage to fix the tracker? Yes. You did it, you fixed it, well done. Give it here. We got a ping. It's Papa really alive, I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker, maybe we'll find where Papa went. I'm guessing he went through the sewers, like we said, but let's follow you for now. Although we're not going to be able to get through the sewers without the tracker first, right? Like, I just realized that, because... Without the weapon, because the weapon is what we're going to need to get through the sewers. <laughs> what are you going to do? Elevator. Definitely looks that way. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but it must be sure. But I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Oh, the elevator works then. Or I guess this door's just been sealed because it's so dangerous for so long. Yeah, that looks shite. He's just gonna close the door and be like, find my dad, lol. Oh, he's coming with us. I'm actually quite surprised. Look at all these Zerk eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Take my badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you're a friend. Okay. I'll open the door for you. So I do have to go by myself. Thanks. Thanks, Seamus. Fucking nerd. Alright, off we go. So now we're in an area where we're probably going to die a lot, so, um... 
you know. Dead end. Okay, great. Oh, yeah, there's the bumpkins. And they've already heard me. Run. Bucket, 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 I'm dead this time. I had to jump up there and I fucked it. Ignore the PlayStation 5 telling me my Wi Fi's lost. It's because the internet goes in and out in this room on the Wi Fi. Alright, let's try this again. This is gonna be a tough bit, I think. Uh, I'm streaming from a PC, not a PlayStation 5. I'm capturing the PlayStation 5 via PC software, and the PC is on a wired connection. I would never stream on Wi-Fi, like, it just isn't stable enough most of the time. Go! Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Come on, all these fucks. I hate these things so much. Oh, I see. Huh. Where the fuck do I go from here? Is the question. Maybe I can just push it further? Yeah, there we go. I'm a genius. Oh shit. Oh shit! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh fuck! You okay, kitty cat? I think I'm okay. I think everything's fine. You okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. Okay. Oh, I'm limping again like I was at the start. Okay. Where is Dot gonna be? I mean, this looks pretty sussy backer to me. Oh, I need a fuse to open the door, it looks like. Electrical generator, but it seems to require some other function. Uh, some other part to function, sorry. So yeah, I need to find a fuse to bring to the generator. What I need is more of these with actual fucking drink drinks in, so I can make some fucking, get some fucking items from the fucking shop. That's what I fucking need. Uh. Open any of this. This like goo is all that's left over from the Zerks. Like, I guess like digesting shit. I don't really know. Barbed wire. That is very mean. An anti kitty. Right, anything interesting in here? Well, I'm guessing so. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to get in here. Mm, we can't knock anything out of here, but there still might be. Oh, what the fuck was that? 
Oh, it's a Zerk. Oh, this is Doc, I guess. Hi. Whoa. Wait, you're not a Zerk. Who are you? It's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, shame us, you clever boy. I've been alone for ages. I came here to test my deflux and it didn't go as planned. I should go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I've no idea how to escape this place. Okay. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around making a lot of noise. I remember now, they were called children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they bought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? I mean, guess so, yeah. It's his kid, right? Another empty fucking vending machine. Tormenting me. Mocking me! I'm guessing this is the thing that we need. Hey, be careful with the defluxer. At full charge, it can explode zergs like confetti. Zergs. The baby needs 1.21 gigawatts to work, and anything around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. The problem is it won't start. I think a fuse blew, and with all the zergs around, it's too dangerous for me to go and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you might just be able to. You can reach the generator and replace the fuse. I should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. Oh my god, I'm just a little kitty numkin wandering round. Here, take the fuse, it's brand new. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. So once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. You need to follow this cable, change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. Oh, I want to look around the rest of the house first. Don't pressure me. God, why are you so pressuring? No wonder your son didn't find you. <gasps> that was mean. That was so mean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Okay, but I meant it, but it's still mean. Alright. Nothing else in here, actually, so this was a complete waste of time coming back down here. Alright, let's go. Alright, here we go. Huh. Got this. Alright, we got this. It's when I turn it on that the Zerks are going to show up and I'm going to have to like run around in circles like a fucking chicken. Headless chicken around here. Alright, here we go. This sounds really bad. Here they come! Do I need to get back to him? I probably do, right? Although I don't know. Maybe I should just stay with the light for now. Because there's a lot here. And I can't get... I don't know if I... If I jump across, I'm probably going to die, right? There we go. Oh, he's killing them all. I'm dead. I'm not dead. How am I not dead? Get in. I did it. I did it! Clutch! Amazing, you got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely a way out of here. Wait a minute, I might be able to mount this defluxer on your drone. Work. The defluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, son. I guess we need to go through the front door so he can fit. How inconvenient. I hear them. I hear them being creepy and creeper. I hear them creeping. 
This is an actual escort mission this time, because if so, that sucks. Hi! They're kind of cute in a horrific kind of way, right? Take out the Zerg so we can get through. Wow, it's working great, but I suspected it overheats. Let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. So it's got like a timer on it. This looks bad. The switch doesn't work. It looks like electricity's been cut. I mean, this is what these are for, right? I'm not entirely sure where I'm going with this, but... See, okay. It's meant for something. I just don't know where we're going. Oh, there we go, the vent. Perfect. <laughs> Hopefully this helps. Doesn't just immediately kill us. Hi guys, how's it going? It's not as perfect as I wanted it to be. Oh shit. It blew up again. Get off, get off, run. God damn it! Thought I had it. I'm not really sure what I meant to do there. He's kind of just like freaking out. I need to kill them all, but it's really hard when they it runs out so quick. Could be our first real roadblock challenge here. We'll see. Yeah, they're not good to. They're not easy to deal with. That's for sure. It also doesn't work. Like 50% of the time, it won't come to turn on. Yeah, that's really weird. Like, it just wouldn't turn on properly there. Hmm. Oh, it's because he needs to be out first, that's why, and he wasn't out at the time. Close. Let's get back home. We got it. We got past them. We got a save point. We got him. We got it. Only took two tries. That's not too bad. Get your ass in gear, though, please, Mr. Robot. Five hundred meows in guys. Daily five hundred meows. Alright, let's go. We're back at the start. Oh, that was really easy. I expected like fucking hours of it.
We thought you were dead. Aww. Isn't that cute? The little heart screen. Now we have to go in the lethal sewers. Can't wait. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo's been waiting for you by the sewers. Okay. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. Alright, before we head off, let's have do a one more once over around this place. Hey Teddy, what's up Rosie? Oh, Billy. Do you know my son Seamus? It's thanks to him I can come back from that damn place. Excuse me, I did fucking everything. Okay, he did fuck all. Alright, the cat is the fucking star. Hi. Momo's waiting for you on his boat. You can join him when you've done everything you wanted here. Because I'll close the door behind you. Don't want any zerks coming through. Yeah, this is our last chance to do stuff here. I think I'm done here for now. We did some of the side stuff. Some of them we didn't, but that's okay. Let's press on. It's my my. Let's fucking go. Can't believe you found Doc. And now we can go find the Balthazar. Let's go. Are we gonna have a river rapids fight? We're gonna have river rapids in the sewers? This is not gonna go well. I've got to protect him like fuck here as well. That's going to suck. The sewers. I am a kitty cat. And a nom 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 and a nom nom nom. So far it doesn't look like any immediate threat, but that's probably going to rapidly change. Cutie cat, and I'm you all day long. Oh my god. Shut up. Didn't ask your input, Momo. Just row the fucking boat, okay? not look good. Yeah, yeah, m my sentiments exactly. Alright, gotta find a way to open the door. Let's have a look around, shall we, guys? Alright. Oh, well, these look great, don't they? Can't kill them. I heard you guys squelch. As soon as I open this up, you're gonna... Yep. Definitely short burst is the way to go with it, for sure. Makes them much more manageable. Imagine trying to do that without the fucking ray and just how fucked you'd be. It is pretty warm, I'm not going to lie. I like the music in this a lot, by the way. What's the name of the studio that made this? I know Annapurna, like, published it, but like... I'm terrified something's gonna come out the water. I say water. 
It's a pretty loose definition of the word water there, but you know what I mean. The sludge, the slime, the turtles, whatever's in here. The ooze. I like that. The ooze. Ooze. Blue 12 Studio made this, okay. The word ooze makes me think of the Power Rangers movie. It's fucking great, that movie. Well, that went well. Hey, at least 50%'s done, huh, Momo? Leave it up to the cat. I know I have to do fucking everything for your robots. All the machinery's broken now. I think we can open it manually. What does that entail, Momo? Oh, I see. Oh, he's doing it by himself. I'm actually surprised. We're going to have to go under. I can't go on with you, but I won't stop looking for a way. When you find Zabalthasar and Clementine, tell them I was brave. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're, banned. we're leaving him behind? Great. Off by ourselves again. I say by ourselves. We got the robot, but you know. This place looks really fucked. Don't like calling a place ominous place of certain death, but this looks like an ominous place of certain death. If you don't, if, if you, you know. That's fucking guy. Those are gonna catch any second. I will say the PS5 visually packs a really nice punch, doesn't it? It looks really fucking good. Okay, this is definitely going to be a fight because it just saved. There are a lot of eggs in here. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh god, this feels like I'm playing Alien! Oh god, this is horrific! I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for in here. But... None of this seems good. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, here we go. Time to book it. Jump, 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 maybe. Go, 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 go. Did they follow me? No. Woo! Doesn't work on the eggs. You have to, like, run into them and make them hatch. Oh my god. These sections are like out of a horror game, like they're they're very tense. Don't know what I have to do, but seems bad what I might need to do here. There are eyes on the wall, yeah. 
I just noticed that. I'm not 100% sure what I did, by the way. Looks like we can go in there, maybe. Can we go in here? Nope, that's where they came from, I think. I'm not really sure what we're doing, but, um... I'm guessing these eyes are like an evolution of how... of these things. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. Get off, get off, get off! Did they just make a noise like a cat? Did they like imitate a cat noise? Felt like they might have done. Uh, can I get through this door? No, oh, I see. Well, we made it. That was pretty fucking intense. Holy shit, that was intense as fuck, actually. Thank you, Arcadia. Yeah, two months less than three. Is there gonna be like a huge one or some shit? This is something out of a horror movie, this. This is really fucked. Oh my god. This is not good, guys. It's save the kitty cat. It's saving the kitty cat. No! Robot Chan! Come on, let's go! Oh, robot's injured and we've got to get the fuck out of here. We, we don't have any beam anymore, by the way. Obviously. Oh, it's okay. It was dark, I was alone. It felt like I was back in the network. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my core. The defluxer is completely destroyed now. We have to be careful. No more killing them, guys. No more killing them. We have a flashlight, but that's it. Holy shit. Well... Oh look! Is it? Who the fuck is this? Oh, this is the new place we just found. A new civilization. A traveler from the sewers. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the ones who contacted us earlier? The little outsider? It's about as the outsider has been expecting you. He's meditating the top of our village. Probably some side quests and stuff here. No Zerk safe zone. That's definitely what we fucking needed.
The machine, the scientist I assisted used one of these. He was sick. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine. But it wasn't with him. He was alone. What was I doing? He uploaded himself into the computer and everything was different. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years. Until a little cat appeared. Was it me? I was the scientist? So it's the conscious of a human, which I was thought. I was a human. I need a moment. That's okay. So, yeah, they're a human. Which we, uh... I mean, I, I kind of suspected that was the case, to be honest with you, but still. Hi. I'm sorry, I... I need a moment. I don't feel like talking right now. Oh, he won't talk to anyone because he's freaked out. Okay, we have to talk to them later on. I guess let's go and see Zabalthasar first, and then uh, we'll worry about everything else later on. What else have I forgotten? I must have parents, friends. What happened to everyone? I wanted to open the city, but is there anyone left to save? I mean, there's the robots who behave just like humans in this instance. Don't be so robotist, human, in a robot. What is this? Balthazar says, hey, don't you know how to in not interrupt a fellow doing his transcendental meditation? Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. Their me memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you help find Doc. And Clementine, she's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the one that can get you there. Apparently, she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of the picture. Clementine's picture. To reach Midtown, climb our little village. It should be easy for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you'll be the very first. I wish you good luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. I'm sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm a human, probably the last in the world. Now look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? Maybe if we find Clementine, we can restore my memories and get you back home at the same time. We can go back down and find out more from the companions or head onward to Midtown. We're going to go back down and talk to people. I feel it's worth speaking to everyone. The soothing sound of trash falling, shimmering waterfalls, no dangers. It's a blissful place to work on poetry. Here, listen. The mighty concrete shielding me and its womb. Shall you also be my tomb? You think it's too solemn? It's pretty solemn, dude. Not to shit on your poetry, but it's pretty fucking solemn, okay? The language, the companion robots made it up from scratch, how impressive. I remember it happening when I was in the network. I don't know what exactly, but one time all the communication started to switch to these symbols. I was stuck in a computer and alone for a long time, so I translated every symbol and word one by one until I was able to understand anything. Now that I'm out, I know their language. I'm curious to hear what they have to say. May is in a deconstructed period, so she says. I'm sure she'll become a great artist. If only she could practice elsewhere. I do love the smell of fresh paint. It reminds me of... Oh, wait. I can't smell anything. How sad. Oh, the sad face! Something behind here. Nope, just the scratching post. Do you know there are more than 900 shades of white paint? Don't tell anyone, but I'm creating my own shade of paint. I'm calling it Garbage Brown. Thanks, May. Thanks for the insight. Hmm, statistically, I should have won at least eight times. 9,536 games, one to six. Don't tell me anyone I'm actually programmed to win at this game. Oh my god. <laughs> the music is nice here as well. I really like the music in this game in general, actually. That's where we came in, right? I don't think there's much down there, but we'll have a quick look. Alright, let's go.
The robots have real personality in this. It's really nice, actually. Can we go this way? Oh, we can. There's more on this floor. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, hello there. It's been so long since we had a visitor. Well, except those damn zerks, of course. Imagine if we could harness their power, having them run a wheel or something. Such wasted potential. <laughs> When I grow up, I want to be great, like, be great, like, like, great Aunt Clementine. I want to explore like she did, but the grown-ups forbade us to leave Ant Village. Why is it called Ant Village? That's where we came in. Oh, well, I can't swing very much. Can sleep, though. There's probably a trophy related to finding all the spots to sleep in the game or some shit. When, by the way, so, those of you who don't know, the PlayStation 5 controller has, like, this haptic feedback thing, right? And it has, like, really, like, subtle vibrations depending on, like, what's going on. When you lie down like this, it does, like, a purring effect. Like, so the controller feels like it's purring in your hand. It's kind of cool. Um, like, it, it does add a little bit of immersion and things like that. It's quite impressive the effects that they can create with the controller, I will say. Like, there's not many PS5 games right now that utilize it fully. There's not many PS5 games in general, actually, but um, there are some that have impressive um, uh, feedback in them. Alright, let's keep going up, I guess. Up. Oh, that's a shortcut down if I want to go down again, but I don't, so... The food is actually horrible, but there's anything around here. I have to unscrew my front casing if I keep eating this trash. What do they eat? People call me the Tin Chef. I specialize in upcycling leftovers. Today's special, Ramen J45 with my secret ingredient. I mean, actually, I'm going to jump in this. Actually, no, I'm not. That's the way down, I just realized again. This is where I need to go. Um, Let's go this way, I guess, before we go up. I really like this game so far, though. Like, it's, genu it's genuinely way more compelling than I thought a game about a cat was going to be. Like, the robots give it the personality a lot more, you know what I mean? I really like that. Hey buddy, how are you? Did you know that Aunt Clementine taught us how to grow special plants that can live without sunlight? I have a huge collection of them. Do you want to see? It's still missing some colours though. I'm missing a yellow plant, a red one, and a purple one. If only someone small and agile could get them for me. Oh shit. Okay, so there's a side quest there. To find plants. I'm bored. Aunt Clementine used the whole classes here. We learned a lot of cool stuff. I'm not going to spend ages looking for the fucking plants. Like, if we come across them, great. Um, but if not, like, you know. It's not the end of the world. So far, Shadow of the Cat Lossus has been really, really good. Can we just like pour paint on some flowers and be like, this is the purple one. This is the green one. Just knock the paint on it and convince them that it's the actual thing. You know? Oh fuck. Up. Up. Yeah, it looks like we're leaving this place far behind. Let's go.
Like, I think I probably would have liked it if there had been a few more, like... Oh, shit, we need a fuse. Okay. A few more slightly open areas. But, um, so far this has been very good. Oh, no, this looks bad. Is this a subway? Looks like we have to power the train, right? This is a subway station. I had completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride to anywhere in the city. People used it to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning I had to say goodbye to my family at home. It must be fairly devastating for the robot hunters coming back to them. I remember I was doing this for them, but they're gone now. It was so long ago. They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? They were eaten by the Zergs, I'm gonna guess. Zergs. Anyway, we're near Midtown. Let's find this Clementine. If you have a picture of her, we can show it to some companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. I've got a feeling we're nearly done with the game already. If that's 48% of it, if that's, if that's like, main, most of its main memory is back already, right? Let's drive the train. Let's do it. Let's fucking go. On the seats. Our cat has not gone to the toilet this entire time. I'm very upset about this shocking revelation, by the way. <laughs> Alright, well, let's find some people to talk to, I guess. Hi! Just let me look at this first, okay? Thank you. There are so many books here. The Turing Test Legacy, The Ethics of Artificial Intelligence. I recognize some of these. Did I have a library? I remember nothing was quite like the smell of books in the turn of a page. It was a feeling almost like comfort. A book was like spending time with someone. We need to get rid of all books. Burn them. Oh, we should show him the item, right? Well, thank you for your input, sir. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the information. Friendly guy. Oh, hi! Uh... They're being chased by, like, a law enforcement robot, it looked like? It's arresting him, look! Oh, it is! He's being arrested, look! Oh, shit! Look, there's, there's cop robots. Please state your identity. Corporate will have to transfer you to jail and reboot you. Please leave me alone. I'm not the one you're looking for. If you're looking for Clementine, I'm sure she's hiding in the residence. Okay, interesting. So, she's wanted. Which is not good. Access a lower level restricted due to organic life hazards. Please keep out of the area. About this one. Oh, same one, same text, okay. Got a feeling this bit is gonna be a bit more dystopian than what we've seen so far. Because so far, the towns we've been to have been all very friendly. They didn't have, like, a, like a, a need for, like, law enforcement type structures, right? But here... Well, things don't seem quite as numb. Could see some bad shit going on here. I already told you five times, Josh. You can't run around like that. It's dangerous. The first time I've seen this kind of robot, he looks so fluffy. 
Oh, the girl displayed on this wanted screen, right? You should ask someone else. I'm too busy with Yosh to know anything about it. Oh shit, this is her. This is Clementine. Wanted, Clementine Troublemaker, outsider, rebellious. Please report any sightings. Okay, this this is this place is shit. Don't worry about trash, Nico Corporation takes care of everything. By wiping out the population of, of Earth. Fantastic. I wanted to go up. Oh, there's nothing in here. Alright. So, the question is, how do I get down from here? This seems like quite a big hub area. Oh my god, it is a big hub area. Got the trophy catwalk. I guess I've been to every area. But, sorry! Hmm. Consider this. Tomorrow if I replace my arm with another robotic arm, and the next day my other arm too. And then my body and so on until I've replaced all my parts and upgraded my software. Will I be the same robot you're talking to now? Oh hey, you're showing me right now. A bunch of people don't know. My guess is they probably live in the massive housing building further uptown. Do you want- what do you want with that? Okay. Gotta knock everything off. It's vitally important. To be annoying as fuck. Let me in. Let me in! Hey, I'm off to work. See you later. Okay, I need to be cautious of the Sentinels. There's no reason to make arrests for no... They're quick to make arrests for no reason. Don't worry about me, babe. I'm good. Okay, open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up! Let me in! Nickercorp, we work all day to gather the waste and send it downstairs, where they recycle and repurpose it. Speaking of downstairs, it's been a while since we had any news for them. Cool picture, that one. Is that address on the back? First symbol is a street, and then there's a floor and door number. Should be pretty easy to find. Okay, but I want to explore first game. I do like the exploration in this. It seems pretty good. Sorry, little one. You can't play over here. The Nickercorp factory is no place for a little fastball like you. Access is restricted, but only for a little while. If you can wait a few years, we'll open right back up. No problem. Few years sounds reasonable. I'm busy. What do you want? Go away. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks, Blazer. Club's closed. Get lost. Alright, I guess we're not getting in the club. I'm not sure I'm over 18 anyway. The merchant crook sold me a faulty battery the other day. Now he pretends not to hear me every time I try and confront him. If it wasn't for sentinels on patrol, he'd end up with spare parts. Wow, threatening, huh? Can I not talk to this guy? I guess I can't talk to this guy. Pull over. Come here. Come here. Yeah, that's what I like to fucking see. I'm the trendiest. It's the trendiest shop in Midtown, but the shopkeeper is pretty drunk, grumpy. Okay. Are you the one of the young punks listening to loud music all day? Don't touch anything. Don't make any noise. Don't ask for credit. How lewd. Oh my god, look at that shiny metal ass. Really fucking lewd. I can't believe that, actually. Oh, I can put cassettes in. I never found any cassettes. I feel like I've been fairly thorough as well, so I guess I really haven't been as thorough as I thought I was. Nothing new there, though, for me. I'm gonna be real. To 
hell with the Sentinels. Long live the Outsiders. I guess the Sentinels don't believe in leaving this dome, and the Outsiders do, is like just the, the, the basic law here. I want to get in there. Let's let this food. Let me in. I can't get in. My life is ruined. How is a kitty supposed to eat? That's a lot of shit going on here. Sorry, shop's closed. I'm waiting for the delivery guys, but they seem to be taking their sweet time. Can't talk to the cop. Don't want to trip him up, probably. It's not a good idea, right? You know what, my friend? Stay away from the Sentinels. They're vicious and they got my buddy Pablo. He's in for 350 years, so be careful. Jesus Christ! I just, walk I just walked through the elevator and I got yelled at by the Sentinels. For years we've been told the surface is uninhabitable. We just accept this as fact, but why? Yeah, the camera machines are kind of irrelevant now, though, because they deleted the ones they had from my inventory when the chapter ended. Shit! I knocked over a cop, I knocked over a cop. Run, 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 run. Hi. What can I do for you tonight, chef? Can you pay me with real money? Shut up. memory up here. It's interesting to see robots mimicking human work and behaviour. Here they seem to sell burgers and street food. I remember my favourite place to go when I was human. It was small and welcoming and the server's name was... I don't remember, it slept with an M I think. Mario. It's Mario. God damn it, I want to get down. I want to get down, please. Thank you. I guess no musical instruments, no noise allowed. Oh, hey. Aww. Aww. What a nomkin. Guessing the sentinels won't like me going down here. Definitely not. I can talk to this cop. Do not proceed further. The access to the outside is fully restricted and the elevator has been disabled. The exterior is unsafe. Do not proceed further. Okay. That was the robot voice, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bringing it back. Blast from the past. Classic. Classic Minx. Let's go in here first, I guess. Huh. I used to own a bar. It was the coziest place around here. Until a screwdriver in the knee. <laughs> it's closed. Shut, shut the fuck up. Even if the guy burns me out, he's the only customer. Try and scram away, please. Bums me out, sorry. You've been in the city below? I had a friend there, Fifi. I haven't seen him for ages. I can't remember who Fifi was, if I'm honest with you. Seems like a, sur a surgery here, yeah. This place is so fucking big. Oh no, I'm back on the main street again. Okay, it's not, big. It's not that big. Thank fuck for that. Was it me? Thanks, Mo. Appreciate it. It's so cool right now. So chill. I think nothing bad could happen to us. Uh huh. We must be getting near the apartment where she lives now. Hey, dumb face. We can see you too. Oh, the camera. Life is boring since the Sentinels put cameras in our residence. 
Hey, the tapes are ours. Don't you don't don't you know not to steal? I could give you one, but you'll have to do something for Gianna, Miko, and me. The Sentinels have installed three security cameras to watch over us. We don't like that at all. Can you get them off our backs? Okay. Take out the cameras. All right, got it. One down. Okay. Right, there's another camera. Goodbye, camera! Alright, where's the last camera? So we can have a wonderful cassette to listen to, guys. Oh my god, it's so numb. What do you mean you forgot your character sheet? I spent the whole week preparing this session. Oh, D and D, I guess. I'm sorry, I forgot where I put it. But let's play anyway. I'll go with the cave. Let's go. I guess we have D. We have nerd robots. Oh my god, how nerdy! I can't believe how nerdy they are. There's the other one. Alright, that's the cameras dealt with. Let's go and talk to the guy and get the cassette and we can go and play in the shop and play it afterwards. Well done, I think you I didn't think you could do it. Here, take your prize, you end it. Let's go and listen to it quickly. See what it is. Ah, oh, that's the wrong shop. I need the clothes shop. Wherever the fuck that is. I mean, down here on the right. No, this is it here. That was not worth knocking over the cameras for, guys. Oh, but he makes him go to the back. He goes to the back. Does that give us access to something? see anything to interact with where he was standing. Damn it, how do we turn this thing off? I guess he doesn't know. Drink responsibly, little one. Not like the guy in the back room. What a pity. That sounds like the guy that we need. The guy in the back is absolutely well lubed, if you know what I mean. Only a big crash on the head could wake him up. Sounds like a job for us! Oh yeah, definitely. Sounds like a job for a kitty cat. Let's fucking go. Listen, I dated the uh, dog girl in Rune Factory 5 chat, okay? I don't remember any of the other characters, actually. Alright, now he's gonna go and start doing the shop, which means we can probably get in the shop, hopefully. Or at least they'll move out the way slightly so we can get in. Look how, upset, look how upset the guy on the right is. They'll take us in if we're in the box. Just as well, I'm a genius. 
I'm not quite sure why we want to be here in the first place, but like, it's whatever. We can open a permanent shortcut now. <laughs> Is there actually anything of note in here? I'm gonna just fuck up this guy's carpet for the sake of it, actually. Yeah, right, he fucking deserved it for not letting me in, okay? Not sure why I want to be in here, but maybe it's for later on. Don't know. Doesn't seem to be anything else in here at the moment anyway. But at least we got a permanent entry point if we need it, so that's something. Alright, back to the hunt for the guy with the jacket. I don't even really know what a... I'm gonna level with you guys. I'm not even entirely sure what a bomber jacket is. I'm gonna be real. But, um... Gold chain should be the big giveaway. Wearing a gold chain. I'm busy. What do you want? This. Where did you get that? Oh, you're with the outside... My contact? Let me brief you about the atomic battery. The battery is powering the Neko Corp factory right there, but the whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turns away anyone who is not a worker. Here's an idea. Go get me a worker jacket and worker helmet while I stay here to check for a good time to enter. Alright, where the fuck am I going to get those? There's a guy that's wearing like... Like an outfit like that further up. Like, yeah, these guys. But I guess these guys don't count. Hmm. This section does need a bit more direction, I feel, than the other ones. Would this count as the work outfit? Sorry, little one, you can't play here. We already said that. Where are we going to get them? Can we just kill Gary? Oh yeah, there's one in the clothing shop in the window. And now we've got rid of the guy, we can just probably just grab it, right? Yep. And the helmet's in the hat shop, which we've also got access to now already because we already pre-solved the puzzles. That's what was important. Awesome. We can now get that in the hat shop. There we go. Wherever the fuck the hat is in here. There it is. So we got the hat and clothes because we pre-solved the puzzles for both of them. Fantastic, let's go. All right, go and get me a worker jacket. I've already got them. Perfect, the jacket's exactly what I need. I still need the worker helmet though. There you go. This helmet will do the trick. I'll get dressed now, mind turning around? Oh, Robot Chan. I can't look away. You're so handsome. These are great. A little snug around the waistline, but it'll do. Okay, hop in this box and I'll sneak you across the checkpoint. A fucking thing. Okay, we got stealth. We got stealth, guys. We got we got some stealth. I'm guessing we can hide in here when we need like to um if we get if we're being chased Ooh, ho, 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 ho. fuck you there's like a permanent camera there so we need to find a way around Go. 
Go, 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 go. You didn't see shit. You didn't see shit, robot! You didn't see shit. side. Can't go through the door. So why did I come over here? There's got to be a reason. There's got to be something. Oh, maybe this walkway. Uh, I'm really not sure. Like, what the fuck is the point of this? The box is just to lose aggro. See? He'll follow me, but if I jump in the box, he'll be like, Where could they possibly have gone? I have no idea. Impossible. I'm gonna do one more loop around this and try and figure out what the fuck I'm meant to be doing. Fuck. Oh, there was a fucking lever here that I completely missed like a moron. Alright, now I have to make it back. Without getting seen. Which will be a bit challenging. Because he's very persistent on this bit. Woo! Everything's fine. I see. I see what we have to do. I see. I see. I see. I see. We're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Why, I'm an amazing kitty cat. I'm amazing at dodging, amazing at everything. Gotta be a numpkin. No idea what this opens up. Oh, it's a shortcut in case I get caught, I guess. Fuck! Nothing's happening, nothing's happening. Ain't nothing happening nowhere to no one, no how. All right, we gotta get rid of these somehow. Oh, I see. The lasers will go off, but if we roll the barrel through, it won't hurt us. We made it, guys. Okay, we got pressure pads. I see. I see. Can we turn this? I don't think we can. Okay, so it's like it follows me. Alright, so that one's on that one, but we still gotta get stuff on the other one. Well, what are we missing? Ignore that. Hmm. I can't push this. sucks. Maybe there's something in here that I can get access to? That might seem plausible. But I can't get any higher. Huh. Yeah, we definitely need to get in here don't know how. Because it won't let me climb up and the lever's broken on this side. And I can't jump from the oil drum because it's too far away. Even if I 
roll it a bit further back, I don't think it's going to work. Oh, here's the lever. Hang on, hang on. Can I pick it up? Let's try this. Come on. Still not big enough. It's good enough. All right, come on. Over here, over there, off. Now you. Come on, come here, come here. Huh. Oh, I see. We can roll this through. There's the battery we needed. However, we are now in shit. Complete shit. We got it! Quickly, let's get out of here before the Sentinels show up. We got this battery back to Clementine. I sense a chase sequence, guys. Oh, it's very convenient to have this bucket here, actually. Very convenient. Like, holy shit. I guess there won't be a chase sequence for a little bit. Let's take this to Clementine. It's in my head now, sorry guys. Oh shit! Hey, you think you can stop us from hanging out at our digs? I guess Clementine might be in trouble here. I think the criminal is eyeing my collection of vintage cards. Oh my god, they're such nerds these two. All this work for nothing. You can't steal our spot, but you can you can't steal our spot, but you can't steal our moves. I guess because I'm a cat, they're not gonna see me, but there are sentinels fucking everywhere. Ain't hey, nothing here. Stealth! 1,000% stealth! I am the stealth. I am the stealth. I am the stealth. There's a lot of them around here, by the way. What fuck? <laughs> She's not here, fuck. Where the fuck is she? Should I have even come in here? I think she might be up top. It's possible, right? Nope, she is not here. Then where the fuck is she? Just busted my ass coming back here. She gonna left me a note, maybe? Clem? Hmm. No sign of Clementine. Oh, what's that? It looks like some kind of coded message. We're gonna have to play detective to figure out what happened to her. Look. For B12 and the cat, the answer lies in my stuff, and then there's four symbols. It's signed Clementine. Take a look. 
So we need, okay, four different items. So this is one of them. You found something? I don't see anything. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, that's not it. Alright, guys. I'm gonna take a little break. You found something? Nope. We gotta find more shit, guys. We're not finding any of the shit we need at the moment. Off! Yeah, that's what I'm fucking talking about. It's dead. The cup is dead. It's been defeated. <coughs> All right, let's look around. I swear this is one of the things, but I guess not. Oh yeah, Risa. Hey, thank you, Elle. Hmm. What was on the? How do I see the thing? Here we go. So we got the. I, that definitely is one. We got the traffic cone thing and the crystal thing. This is definitely one of the things, like, like a hundred percent, right? But it's telling me to look at this, and every time I look at this, they're like, "Oh, that doesn't count." Who'd have thought finding a few things would be the hardest part of the game? We've already got the crystal from up here. Oh, hang on. Oh, I guess there's multiple of them. Fuck. So we have to find the right one. Curses. Curses! Foiled again, guys. Oh, here, 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 here. Here's one of them. My senses can detect harmless chemicals in a gaseous state. They can recreate the calming sensation. Like me, companions can't smell, so I wonder where they do this. There's also a message hidden under the container. It says, I'm with... Okay, I think we've got most of the message now. But we need the last part. Which is another lava lamp, but we've been to all the lava lamps. Where the fuck is the other lava lamps? Um, I can't move. There we go. Jesus. I thought I was stuck there. I was a bit worried. Listen, just look at the toilet. It's really interesting, alright? Why are you being judgy towards the toilets? Yeah, there's definitely nothing else in this room. We've already got this thing. We've already got that traffic cone. And I think we've got everything up here as well. This one doesn't count. This one isn't real. And that one does count, but we've already got it. So we're missing one thing. Wherever the fuck that is. I feel like it should probably be in this area, but... I don't see where it could be. That, the bike is nothing. The door is nothing. Like, so if it's anywhere, it's gonna be around here, but, like, there's nothing else here either. Oh, hang on, hang on. I see where it is. I see where it is, I see where it is, I see where it is. It's that. There we go, there's our missing lava lamp. I have no idea what this is, but its glow is kind of mesmerizing. Sorry, I was elsewhere. I didn't even notice the message here. It reads, nightclub. Okay, she's hanging out with the crumpy guy in the nightclub. If I'm with Blazer, come to the nightclub. That's it. Well done, Lieutenant Cat. Now let's go find it. We don't have much time. <laughs> now we need to get away without dying. <laughs> they won't suspect a thing. Getting down was way easier than getting in. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, the nightclub guy wouldn't let me in though last time, right? It's not for you. Go away. Alright, we gotta find another way of getting in the nightclub. Why are you guys here? I don't think the browser's gonna let us in. Hey guys, I think we're gonna have to climb in the back again. Well, thank you for the clue, sir. That's very nobby. you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay, I see. 
looks like quite a lot of climbing is involved to get in here, actually. I work hard to clean the streets, only for others to mess it up again. Anyway, that's how the world works. Well, that's depressing. <clears throat> hey, how'd you get up here? You want to party with us? Here, jump in and get a drink. Thanks, Alex. Oh, shit. It's going down in here. That's what I like to fucking see. I can't remember what any of the characters look like. This club sucks. When I tried to get that stupid VIP room, they kicked me out. Me, can you believe it? So I stole this lever just for kicks. If you get me a drink, I'll give you this silly lever. I don't need it. Oh, I talked to the right guy just by pure chance. All right, so we need to get into the VIP room. I can't talk to the bartender yet, because he's not serving a drink. Hey customer, the access to VIP balcony is closed. Some private business going on there. It's been reserved by some blazer guy. These robots know how to fucking live. They're having a great time. Maybe I can just steal a drink. I can. Uh, this, sorry. Oh, thanks, my friend. Here you go, as promised. Okay, I got the lever handle. Alright, no idea where this goes, but let's look around. Can we dance on stage? Oh, we can play with it. We can play with this. <coughs> Stop doing it. I want to spin it. Hey everybody, DJ Matsy here. Let's get the party started. The first song has been requested by a very questionable friend, Blazer. I want to spin the record! Let me spin it, you fucks! I hate both of you so much. God damn it. Although I'm not sure I can. Oh, I can! That's what that's for. And now I can get up here. Though I may need to be on the other side. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. There we go. Don't know what half this shit does. Just smash everything. Oh, it puts a path for us to get across. Potentially. Well, definitely. Question is, what do I do to get it just right? This looks good. This is all of them, I think. Yeah. I have a good relationship with the sensors. I don't understand why people complain so much. I guess they just left the VIP area. Because, fuck me. Well, this isn't going well. <clears throat> Two birds with one stone. You're not know as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personnel. Business is business. Oh, he betrayed us. <laughs> look at the beads of sweat on the screen. The sussy guy was sussy all along. Business is money. And I value money way more than friendship or camaraderie. They're all yours. Well, I guess we're dead. Alcatraz. Oh my fucking god. I guess we've been taken to a prison now, we're gonna have to break out of. Yep. Alright, time to bust everyone out of this place. 
We don't have our backpack or our robot, though. So that's going to suck. We're back to how we were right at the beginning of the game. Jail. Oh, I see. I think we have to do the same with both sides. There we go. Genius. Oh, this present seems nice. Is he being electrocuted? I can't really tell. Doesn't sound good anyway. Gonna be real. Okay, we have a sentinel here. That isn't really moving at all. one down here too. Let's go this way first, I guess. Yeah, just dead robots. Woo! That was close. Didn't realize he patrolled. The world's brightest rooms here, guys. Oh, God. Wish we could take him out, like, jump on the back of them and, like, knock him down. That'd be fucking cool. Cat attack. can't talk because we don't have the robot, but she's telling us where the robot is. Yeah, and the keys. Well, at least the keys. Alright, let's go. Let's fucking roll. Is there actually anything in here? Yes, is the answer. The Great Escape. Right, now we need to get the fucking robot, other robot out of here. Our buddy. Don't just don't follow me. I hope you have a fucking idea where we're going because I have no idea. And this is all your fault for being an idiot and trusting somebody who is super sus. All right, gotta be sentinels around here, right? Oh, there's our friend. There's friend. There's friend. Get, you, get your fucking ass over here. Get your fucking metal ass over here. Friend. going on. Thank you. Thank you, for the, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Oh, I guess this is the stairway down. Yeah. What 
on this. I don't know why I'm walking so slowly, I guess this is stealth. Yep, definitely stealth. is uh, one of those dangerous places. We are oh, thank you so much, Files, for gifting a sub. We're on 62 now. It'd be awesome to get to 69 today, guys. The meme. The dream. Let's go. Thank you so much. Seven gift subs. That is amazing. Thank you. Ow. Get in the box. Get in the box. Get in the box. I fucked up. Like fucked up. Get in the box. At least it didn't evaporate me instantly on the on the spot. You know what I mean? Sixty-nine subs. Oh yeah. Not all right. Fuck. That was so close. All right. How are we gonna get over this? How? Is there something in here I need to do to turn it off? Maybe. Yeah, it's a back security looking room with a lever. Yes. Okay. Good. Problem is, there's them. And now they are on alert. Nope, you didn't see shit. <laughs> Just as well that I'm a fucking ninja slash cat. Ninja cat. trapped in my lab's computer system all alone, but you came back for me. I can't believe it. You're a good friend. I'm glad we're all together again, but we're not safe yet. We need to find a way out of here. Can you open the door just there? You definitely can. that otherwise she would have done by now okay can't see any clear way up out of here maybe it's a completely different route we need to take aha what's this oh do we need to push this maybe oh she's gonna break oh we gave her a brick Use the brick for something. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. You can do it! Alright, get the ladder. There's a ladder right there. There's a, this. This. Come here. This. Oh, you're gonna boost me? 
I mean, the ladder seems like a far more sensible way of dealing with it, but we'll, we'll do it this way if we have to. The sentinels are blocking the way again. They will spot me instantly. Maybe you can try and bait them to those cells and lock them in. That sounds awful. I see what you mean, though. What is this? Do you see that guy on the ground over there? He was rebooted. I don't want to lose my memory. I'm scared. Oh, I see. Come on. Get your ass in here. Come on. Fucked. Did I win? <laughs> Did we win? Did we win? Let me in. Let me in. I'm a numpkin. Let me in. I'm just a tiny little numpkin. Oh my god. Oh, is this a memory? It is. The last one of the game, I think. We missed a bunch, but you know. This poor fellow. It seems the sentinels are ruthless when it comes to defying them. So I feared they've completely erased him. No more emotions, no more self-awareness, no more memories. Please let's not get caught. That's fucked. And look, guys, that's the last one. We got 62% of the memories. Be a little bit more with the final story one as well. Oh, shit. I have to... There's two of them here. It's fine. Open up. Alright, let's get one of them in here at least. Come on. Oh, I see. Fuck! I fucked myself. I locked him in there. Alright, I see what I have to do. I need to open both of them. And then kite them around, probably. This is going to be tough to get them. Actually, do I need to open both of them? Can I think? I, do you think I could get away with chasing the, the, having these two after me? Nah, it's a one-hit kill. Shit. This is this is going to be genuinely hard, chat. I got them both. Let's go. Fucking did it. I only took three tries. That wasn't too bad. We did it. We did it. We fucking wrecked him. <sighs> well, everyone here is doing really well. Something bad's gonna happen, surely. Surely we're gonna do one more big chase in this game. Mr. is there any way out of the jail? I think we can open it from that control room over there. We have to find a way to get access to the room, though. Let's look around. All right. I guess that's a bit too high for us. Hang on, what is this? I can just... <laughs> All right, fine. We'll stop and have a little scratch. Why not? Why not? Why not a little tiny itty bitty scratch? Oh my god, ooh woo. Ah, 
Ah, keys. We're in luck, they left the keys in the door. Hop on the back of the truck, you should be able to jump over the fence to access the cure area. All the puzzles in this have been very, very... For the most part, I would say, if, if no, I, I'd say all of them, because I'm pretty inattentive. Like, I, they've all been pretty straightforward, they've all made a lot of sense, they've all been really clear, well directed. Like, it's been such a refreshing change from the puzzles that we've been dealing with in other games lately. Like, it's really nice. Like, it is really refreshing. You know? We need to get the fuck out of here now. I strongly suspect. Yes, we do. Go. 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 I was hoping I could jump on the back of the truck, but... Yes, I can. Yes! Need to GTFI. You can see a lot of time was put into this game to be like, yeah, this is fun. Like we're having fun. People have fun playing video games. Oh, she's sacrificing herself, I think. There's no way we'll make it out with the sentinels on our tail. I can distract them for a little while, but you have to go. The outsider's manifesto says we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. No. You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get to the outside, but one of us has to. Go now, I'll keep you in my ram, little outsider. Oh, is that like saying she'll keep us in her heart? That's so sad. Okay, we have the atomic battery for the train system now. And we have the keys to start the train. I think this might be the finale, guys, pretty much. Let's go and put the battery in quickly. That's the first thing we need to do. Let's fucking go. We're gonna drive a fucking train as a cat. All my dreams are coming true in this game. I think this is really the finale, though, guys. Holy shit. Nowhere near long as I thought it was going to be, but we'll see exactly what the runtime is when we're done, alright? Looks like it's the gate somewhere. Please mind the gap when the doors open. Ping. I think, guys, we may have got to the real world again. Oh shit! There's someone here. What the fuck? Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. I am currently painting the area. Please be careful of the wet paint. Where the fuck are we now? I guess there's one more area, at least. I mean, that's not bad or anything, but, you know. Hang on, where the fuck are we? Oh shit, we're like above the walled area. Like, we're above the main hub. 
Hello, this has been sealed for your safety. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Okay. Hello, my current task is clean window. Please refer to any certified engineer. So yeah, so these guys are just- these guys aren't like sent- well, sentient like the other robots, right? Like they- they're like helper robots that have just been stuck up here who were designed to keep ev keep everyone in, as it were, you know what I mean? Greetings inhabitant of Wall 299. The building on the surface is currently locked due to confinement pressure. Please refer to any certified engineer. Okay, so we need to find the control room. Wherever the fuck that is. Oh, well, it's clearly labelled at least, huh? But we can't get in. It wants us to do something there, but I don't know what it is. Aha, what's this? The control room is closed by some sort of security protocol. It says only humans are authorized to enter. It also says that I'm not considered human. That's offensive security protocol. Maybe if we work together, we can open this passageway. Thanks for the clue here. That wasn't really much of a clue though, right? I'm gonna be honest with you. Considering every part of this game has been the two of us working together, <laughs> telling me that working together is the way we're gonna get through this puzzle is not, is not good. Let's get this over here so I can climb up and scratch the thing off the power thing. There we go. Now, why can't I do this? Huh. Do I need to have him there and then... At the, yes. Yes. Yes, that's what we need to do. <laughs> okay, we're in the control room. This is the control room for the entire city that controlled everything from here and it's empty. I remember hating them so much, they had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move, little good it did them. The plague I remember now. Everyone was dying and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die, I felt helpless, I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you, we can still go outside together. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. Oh, poor guy. That's all the memories we're going to get. 66% we got through the whole game. This is the main computer. Going to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle for a long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We'll need to bring the rest of these systems online. The computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. Yeah, I found 66% of the collectibles, basically. Alright, how am I going to turn these fucking computers on there? Oh, is it literally just me doing this? I guess it is. That's funny. There we go. All on. It worked. Good job, my friend. I found it. And now to open the city. Something's off here. Of course there is. Maybe there's a way around it. We have to go to the roof. There, there's the workstation to open the city, but there are several layers of security preventing us from using it. What we need to do is do what we do best. I'll hack the machines and you destroy some stuff. I love destroying some stuff. That's what we do. That's what kitty cats do. What do I actually need to do though? I don't know. I guess not that. Oh, I see. Looks like that needs something plugged into it, right? Up there? Hmm. OK. 
Okay, I'm a bit, okay, we need to get into all three of these things. But the question is, where are the bits to do it? Oh, could be one here. Okay, that's one dealt with, okay. Oh, no, 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 he needs to do something. What does he need to do? Hack, there we go. That's one down. That system is taking more than I expected. Oh, fuck. Oh no, we've got to keep going. This seems really bad, you know, for like, our survival. Ah ha ha ha, here. I, I, I've got a feeling the robot's not gonna make it, guys. Just got all the cat. What if the cat dies? What if the cat doesn't make it? I'll, but I'll be so upset. Don't worry, I can recharge once we open the workstation. Oh yeah, he's not doing good. He is not doing well here. If either of them doesn't make it, I'm gonna be really sad because I like them. Like, they really, they're really, in, like, good personalities. We've been through so fucking much at this point. A robot friend. I think this little body is done for. It's okay, I'll be right. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable the alarm. Isn't this the workstation? What the fuck is this then if this isn't the workstation? Oh, it's this one. I'm an idiot. Okay. We're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the city central control would be immense, more than this drone body could handle. But with the security now disabled, I can open the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software, but I made that choice when I hooked into the first computer and the consequences it could bring. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. The robot's sacrificing itself! I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past, but I see a future in the companions and you. Here, let me take that off you. No! You are my friend, the very best I could have asked for. Thank you. No! No! He's been with us for the last, like, four hours. What the fuck? No! Oh, that is so sad! Oh! I'm heartbroken! This is so fucking sad! Oh. Everything's gonna open. I hope the light kills these fuckers. It should do, right? Yep, it does. Get fucked. These little shits were a pain in the fucking ass. Momo, Guardian, we, we did it! We did it! Doc, whatever the other guy's name was, we did it! Oh, the sun takes them out. Get fucked. Oh, 
Oh, I'm, I'm actually tearing up a bit. The poor little robot. You can lay next to it again. Well. Time to leave. I hope we find our friends again that we lost at the beginning. Like, that's the most important thing for the cat. Is finding its buddies. I'm still controlling this, okay. I think that might be it, guys. That's the end of Stray. So the total length of the stream was five hours and 15 minutes. But I think about four hours, 45 minutes was our completion time. We found 63% of the collectibles and we did some side quests. I think you're probably talking about seven, eight hours if you want to do everything. But you could probably do the main story in like three, I would say. Maybe like two if you knew exactly what you were doing, you know what I mean? Uh, this is going to go up on YouTube tomorrow. Um, I've got to edit it now, basically. And that is Stray, a uh, fun little experience. Um, if you enjoyed the game, guys, please consider subscribing, uh, tipping if you enjoyed the stream. Sorry, not the game, I didn't make the game. <laughs> subscribing or tipping to help us out. It's really appreciated. Um, I thought this was a lot of fun. Uh, I, this is, it's not often I think a game lives up to like its like hype, but this is a really well put together game. It's moving, it's fun. Thank you for 11 two gift subs. It's moving, it's fun, it's, Genu genuinely well thought out, and it's just really, really well put together. Um, it's been quite a nice, like, yeah, it's been a nice palette cleanser for like everything else I've played lately, like the shite that I've played. Like this is just a very well put together, well thought out game with fun mechanics. It's not too difficult, it's not too stressful. There's some cool horror bits, like the fucking Silent Hill underground shit with the eyes was like really fucking creepy and disturbing. Just excellent stuff overall, uh, brilliant aesthetics, likeable characters, it's just, it's just really good. Like, it's really good. I give this like an 8.5 out of 10. I really liked it. Um, it was just an excellent little adventure, and um, yeah. Is it worth 20, is it worth 30 bucks? <laughs> I, I think so. Like, I think, I think, I think that's a, f a fair amount. Like, it might be a little bit expensive, but like, generally speaking, it, it's probably worth thirty bucks. Not a nine. It's it's a bit too. I feel that while it's while it's good, the gameplay is a little too limited for it to be higher uh, higher than an eight point five. Um, like, it, it is very much the set. Like, press X to jump. Uh, pick up. Press triangle to pick up item. Repeat is the gameplay. 
um, which isn't necessarily bad, but it's not like super innovative or creative, and it, it doesn't feel very involved when you're playing it. The chase sequences are very well done, by the way. They require you to really pay attention to the environment and like react to like the hordes as they're coming in beforehand. Like if you look in the background when you're doing the chase sequences and you see the swarms of those like little mite things coming in, like you'll see them coming in from different angles and then you can vary your like course when you're running to mean that they don't grab you as you go past and shit like that. Um, oh, yeah. Hey love, thank Lisa. you for gifting us up to Sephnos. Appreciate that too. But overall this was a really fun game and um, I think that it's uh, been a really good experience overall. Um, just really good. That was Stray. Oh my god, so numb. Uh, I'm gonna find someone for us to raid. I'm sorry this wasn't as long as I thought it was gonna be. I thought this would be like an eight hour stream, but it was exactly five hours in the end. But still, I'm gonna go and edit this literally right now. Um, gonna raid Cat. That's fine. And, um, I will be back tomorrow with Fionn and Zoe and Shadow. All right. Very sorry this was nowhere near as long as we thought, but uh, it's still been a fun experience, and the VOD will be on YouTube tomorrow, okay? Have a great rest of your day, okay, guys? See you later. Bye.